everyone, I'm Jenny from Jenny on the Spot and I'm so excited to be here on the Mom's View DIY Challenge. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Shabby Chic Monogram Mirror. Try saying that five times fast. You will need a 12 by 12 mirror, 12 by 12 frame, large wooden letter, scrap materials, decoupage glue, brush, drop cloth, scissors or craft knife and cutting mat, E6000 glue, and optional punches. Step one, choose your materials. I chose a 12 by 12 mirror and frame. The size makes for a great accent piece. I chose the letter I for Ingram, because that's my last name, and this scrap paper because I love the travel look. If you check out Martha Stewart's line of craft items, she has a great variety of decoupage items, including different glue finishes and pre-cut paper designs. But if you have a craft store you love to go to, they will probably have these items as well. Step two, cut. Cut out all the pieces you plan to put on the frame. I like to lay them out ahead of time in case I need to cut more or want to rearrange them. This is a great way to use up scraps from nice wrapping paper or stationery. I can't throw anything away, so I'm glad I finally have a use for these little odds and ends. I have assorted shape punches, and I like these because they make for a very clean cut. I can't freehand a heart like that, can you? I want to make sure I incorporate some good pops of color because I'm using a lot of the muted colors with some of the travel designs. Step three, glue. Start by brushing on a thin layer of glue on your frame. Brush a thin layer on the back side of each piece, that's very important, then attach in the desired place. Brush a layer over the top of the piece to set. Continue to do this with each piece working around the frame. Placing the bottom pieces first, then layering on top. I'm not gonna fold this piece over because I don't like the look of the folded over, sometimes there's bubbles and it doesn't look as clean. So once the top glue dries a little bit, I'm going to go and cut the little edges off all the way around. I'm gonna turn over the frame and take a straight edge and cut off the excess pieces because as I said before, I don't like to fold over the edges. It's just cleaner when it's trimmed up. But make sure that your glue is pretty dry so that as you're cutting, the pieces don't stick to the cutting mat or you don't get any glue on the cutting mat. If your X-Acto knife is very sharp, then your cutting and your trimming should be very, very easy. It looks lovely. Once you've placed all of your pieces, you'll want to do an additional thin coat of glue on top. You might wanna add a little water to thin it out so you don't get any brush stroke lines. Let it set for at least 30 minutes. Okay, now we'll just let that sit for 30 minutes. Step four, assemble. Put your mirror in your frame and close up the frame back. Using E6000, attach the letter to the center of the mirror. Don't be afraid of the glue, but don't do too much. Make sure you give the glue a good 24 hours to dry before you try hanging it up anywhere. You don't want your, um, your letter to fall off. That would be a, a huge bummer. I love how this turned out. This would make a great decoration anywhere in your house, a dorm room or a kid's room or even a nursery. This craft only cost me $24 to make. 
Subscribe to The Mom's View so you can see all of our DIY projects as soon as they come out. And make sure to check out my channel, Jenny on the Spot, at the link below. If you have an expensive project you want to see us make for less, leave a comment below. And we'll see you next time. Bye!